All right, so welcome back. Let's go ahead and go back to our vehicle. Head over to the next area that we need to go towards so we can unlock the next uh, part of the tree. Systems activating. Welcome. I need you to get busy on my operations. And don't forget, I have projects that will help you. Actually, can I actually go through this area? I actually wasn't sure if this actually went all the way through. Oh, it does go all the way through. Okay. Let's go to this one. Or I guess this one. Because, you know what, let's check out the map. Uh, there's one to the far right. That's probably the closer one. But because there's so many, like, holes in the canyons and stuff where you just can't uh, go through, we might have to go to the other one first. Not that it really matters too much. Can you just fight people? Oh, it doesn't like... Oh, those are friendlies. Okay. I'm curious, though. Can you just shoot them and just take their loot? That would be pretty cool. But I guess since we're like a ranger, we're probably not supposed to. Take a shortcut. Oh. Really? <laughs> I guess that was a bad idea. Because now we have to spend... Come back soon, Walker. Uh... Ten... Ten dollars to transfer that uh, vehicle over here. Oh, I can't even call it in here. Okay. Well, maybe we can just take someone else's vehicle. I just figured I would try to get from point A to point B as fast as possible. Can I call it in now? Oh, it just literally spawns right in front of you. I was thinking, like, a, a ship would come Systems down or something. I actually am perfectly fine with that. on the top over there. And the bridge looks like it's kind of broken. You know what, since we're in this little like shanty area, let's go ahead and exit it. Let's see if we can find any like secrets or guns. Town was absolutely destroyed. Oh, there's just like a pair of pliers. I wonder if you can kill civilians. No, you can't. It's a grill. Is that her hair sticking out? No, it's like a, a shower cap or something. What are they owned? What they're digging for? Just trying to clear it out. All right. Well, let's continue on. Systems activating. Trying to like take a shortcut. I'm hoping that there's an upgrade for the vehicle that lets us like boost up. Okay. Well, spring. Finally. Now let's see if we can't get a hold of Mayor Lusum Hagar. Right there, right? Oh, there. Yeah. Kind of farther over there. To go through the town. Please, just hear me out. All right, let's, let's see. Let's see the side quest. Chris Ladong had a strong box to the east. One of just a handful of survivors. We were negotiating to join the trade coalition when a force of goon squad came at us out of nowhere. They trampled all over our defenses. I'm sure they're still there now, tearing up the place. 
I lost my home and people in a similar way. How can I help? Mayor Lusum says she can't do a goddamn thing about it. But if you can, you can grab whatever's still left of value. We even got an ark. Not that anyone can open the damn thing. Just get rid of those goons. I want vengeance for my people. Okay. So let's see what uh, the quest log is and if there's a reward. A few weeks ago. Okay, it just explains it. Okay. Put vengeance. Okay, so. This is the. Is there no like quests? You can set waypoints, that's kind of cool. Curious? I can help. Who am I talking to? Oh, our chest location. What is going on with this game? That's obviously like, a bug. <laughs> Will it do it again? Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> well, it's like flashing like crazy. Um, I kind of want to get one of these. Let's get one. Is it just random? Arc chestnut. Okay, go to the map. Track location. Uh, it's kind of far away, but... I mean, that is like a big upgrade. That could be a, a new weapon, you know, or the new ability. So I definitely want to go for that one. But since we're already here, we're going to complete this quest. Stop right there, shit we're unlocked. I can't go through them. I, I'm I looking for the to. mayor of Wellspring. Yeah. Now you're in the right place, but at the wrong time. Mayor Hagar and her staff are in lockdown. Whatever your business, you can wait. Try another day, but don't try it all. Why? Has something happened? Nope. I aim to keep it. Nobody gets in, nobody gets out. The mayor has bigger problems than you, Sancho. Now, as I said... You hear that? Stomp on them when they're down. Oh. oh. I thought they were shooting at me, they're shooting behind me. Better get up there. You think it can catch a bullet too? Lusum Hagar, mayor of Wellspring. Used to be a wingstick whiz kid. Nowadays, backs it up with a pistol. Instrumental to the dagger project. That's definitely a glitch. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy. You hear about the dagger project? <laughs> huh. Just a very exclusive list knows about that project. And you're not on it. Prowley sent me. Prowley, huh? Prowley's dead. Bynum was raised to the ground. She's a hologram. I can't explain. I'm Walker, the last of the Vineland Rangers. God damn it. More of these assholes. It's <laughs> supposed to be me. Ranger, let's take these fuckers out. Then we'll talk. Gun down your people, I gun down them. Maybe you will prove useful to me after all. Okay, I'll take me a piece. I was just trying to get that damage thing up higher. Where we can overdrive the multiplier. Ooh. You got 
got the skill for the kill, I grant you. <laughs> These goons are thoroughly dead. Not what I expected from your boxed-in little compound. <laughs> You're different. You ready to talk now? Yeah. Let's talk. You want to tell me what's going on here? Dagger was designed to stop the authority once and for all. Plans fell by the wayside when Vineland cut ties with us. I'm more than willing to reboot the project. But as you can see, I have more pressing matters. I can see that. Who are these guys? Tired thugs. The Goon Squad. Small-time bandit outfit. Who sent them? Only one scumbag with balls enough to pull a stunt like this. Clegg Clayton. Richest asshole in town. He's been eyeing the mayor's seat for a while. But lately, he's been upping his game. Using bribed officials, he's laid claim to all of the city's military hardware. Including the vital parts needed for Dagger. So, I kill him and take back the hardware? No deal. We gotta proceed with some caution here. First, I wanna know where he gets his backing from. Second, we need to find out where he keeps all of that property. You got a plan? He's got an ego the size of an ecopod. But we can use that. If you get close to him, pay him lip service. Get his trust. Then you can easily plant this gizmo on his computer. It'll let me download all of his juicy data. Who's backing him, who's supplying the goon squad, and where he keeps the seized supplies. Clegg Clayton likes to surround himself with the rich and famous. They hang out at his so-called winner's lounge. You figure out a way to get in there. And you're well on your way to getting that gizmo planted. Okay, I'm on it. Excellent. Grab the gizmo, get into Clegg's office, and stick it on his computer. Alright. Uh, the elevator south of the edge of town is supposed to have been out of commission for months. I pressed my ear to the door of my patrol last night, and I can definitely hear something down there. Sounds like a bunch of Yahoo's messing around. You want me to break the door? Just give me the knot. I have some explosions in the arms locker and can send a team down there whenever you want. Okay. So we gotta go back down. While we were at the top of the, the reason why I was moving around and jumping around, I was curious to see if like the <clears throat> the NPC's face would follow you. I did a pretty good Clayton job. Clayton's winner's lounge. You're no winner. You're forget it. You ain't got the juice to get past the rope. The Let juice. me in. I'm a ranger. I don't give a fuck. No one gets in here who isn't rich or famous. You're neither. Come on, there's gotta be a way. Sure. You can get in by winning. Winning how? Win at Mutant Bash TV and win the Chaz Car Derby. Become a champ. Easy peasy for someone as tough as you, right? That all? Yep. You make yourself a champ, you can just waltz on in and meet the man himself. There's no other way? Not for you. Become a champion. Bash TV. Well, is it right here? Any luck? You get past that Boundzilla at the door? There's a way in. I've got to go kill the shit out of some muties on TV and grind some metal in the racing circuit. Become a champ. Should be a breeze. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm not going to read this one, but if anyone does, you can go go for it and pause. Like gobbling down peanuts. just want to figure out how to actually... I see, like, the Mutant Bash TV, but where's, like, the actual... Entrance to it. Uh, Trader Cyber Doctor. The Cyber Doctor is found in Wilson. We can assist you with permanently upgrading yourself with augmentations. These are purchased with purchase and with life gland and neurotic interface in Arctic. Listen, Chief. Don't make me go back there. I passed by the old ruin on my way in. The one right on top of the great crack. Gotta go. <laughs> well, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> He's got a bunch of dead rats, and he's just sitting on a toilet. Okay. Who's next, 
stop to report a crime. Oh, talk to that guy. I like how even like the people that you can't talk to, they, they have a name. So this is Clay Clayton's winner's lounge. You're no winner, you're a loser, so get lost. You have to check out the map and actually find out where okay, Chaz this is, is better than bash. Am I let me tell you, there's nothing better than racing. Yeah, sure, people will say mutant bash this, mutant bash that. Yeah, right. That's not a sport, that's just pleasure to it. Racing, on the other hand, racing. A sport. Okay. a sport fit for kings. Racing is for the civilized man, the thinking man, the noble man. If you say so. You should try. Gotta go. I doubt it's like through this outhouse, but. This person? Oh, is this the upgrade area? I stay. I am ready to supply you. All right, uh, let's have a look. Other. I'll teach you how to craft. So it's a schematic, and then I need. So this is just for the heal. Entering rest mode. Wait, you can push people. Yeah, you can actually push NPCs. Okay. That's interesting. Where is actually? Let's just open up the map. Maybe if I zoom in, I can find out. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to zoom in far enough. I just want to know where the uh, mutant bash TV is, but I don't see a uh, option for that. I, I'm guessing it's somewhere around here. Your load. Sell your scrap to hey, a new Come player. <laughs> Fancy looking duds. But when there five saw one, a buyer, seller. Well, <laughs> we don't know yet, do we? Guess we'll find out because both are equally welcome. Good dreamings ever walks away. Fresh meat. Get some protein on your belly. I just like sometimes exploring. I like there's a bunch of chickens in there. All right. Hey you. Can we talk? Just act casual. Ranger Walker. I was told to keep my eyes peeled for you. I'm Wyatt Ferris. I handle special operations for the mayor's office. I was wondering who handled Lucem's dirty work. I do my part in keeping the city safe. Right now, I'm focused on slowing the Immortal Shrouded's aggressive expansion in this area. I could use someone like you for a high-stakes assignment. The Shrouded have taken over an old factory nearby. Seems harmless enough. But somehow, they managed to get the old reactors in there up and running, and they're using them to fuel further raids. They'll strike again soon. I can feel it in my bones. A demo team couldn't take out those reactors fast enough, but you already have the necessary tools to get it done. Can you help? Okay, so it's another like side quest. I'm just gonna hit that data pad and close it real quick. I'll give you guys a second just to screenshot it. If you guys want to read all those. I'm just in it for like the whatever like currency that we're getting for the uh, Godfrey. Kind of just exploring the town. But I do want to know where that Smash TV uh, area is. Oh, there's another data pad. Use the dumpster. We may have given you a dumpster. We've given you a dumpster of your own to use. We know that you get through a lot of scrap. We can't just dump rotten meat there. It smells bad. The last thing we need is an actual rotting car. Because this is next time I'm not seeing a crew. You can put oh. Okay. Neptune water. Boom. It's like a grenade shot. Lock loaded and read. Yeah, hello. Yeah, what'll it be? I guess Just you want to feed that siren of yours. You want some crackers? Some Just ammo. Pellets? I want uh, yeah, right. you come to the right more expensive things, but pew, pew, pew. we don't see? have enough cash Bye. anyways. Alright. If I don't see that that uh, TV area while well, we're kind of just... Ooh. Hello. Come here at once. Oh. Oh, no. Not very nice. You there. Yes, you, filthy gun hand for hire. I have paid your master more than enough. I refuse to be treated like this. Lady, I'm not a merc. 
talents, mercenary scum, and listen instead. Later. <laughs> I like how the character will respond. This is Clay with, like, Clayton's winner's line. Bye. You're no winner. Okay. You're a loser. So get maybe now I can activate it. Maybe it's not even in this area. Hmm. All right. Well, what we'll go ahead and do is go to our car. But first, we'll see if on the map if there's any indicator of. Um, let's talk about legend. So, let's see, does it crush her nest? Oh, activities, MBTV. Okay, so let's see if there's a balloon anywhere. Is this, what's this one? Town violent. I'd say, I'd say let's just go straight over there. I want that next upgrade. And we will. Oh wait, hold on. Let's see. Let's see, it says shops, um, but it doesn't show. Actually, can we fast travel to? What are the towns? Okay, so we can fast travel to the white areas, I guess. I mean, I might as well travel here. And then that way it'll be a shorter distance to get that next um, upgrade, which, like I said, hopefully it'll be a weapon. But I also want to do the. <clears throat> Monster Bash TV. Systems activating. Oh, you know, I just noticed the purple arrows are indicating probably where we need to go. And then this time I'm actually going to follow it because last time I was like, yo, I can just take a quick little shortcut. Uh, turned out to be a very bad idea. Because once you like fall down some of the pit areas, what the heck? Is this an eye? Come back soon, Walker. Oh, it's just a destroyed vehicle. I thought it was something we could maybe loot. Systems activating. But so far I'm I'm enjoying this game. There's nothing like game breaking and new, which is kinda what I was hoping for. With, like new abilities, like making it so you just deal more damage. The little like spinny thing is kind of cool, but it's nothing next gen. It's not like the Half Life uh, physics physics gun. The town over there. I like how I can just run over the debris though. So I, I've seen this. So Honker Hone L three. Another bandit pit stop. Good luck out there. Now let's check out what he's got. This is pretty cool. <laughs> I am Garcia the Gregarious, trader and traveler, merchant of fine. His stuff is so much cheaper though. One dollar. Mortar pawns. I may be Walker. I, are we really speaking like this? <laughs> well, of course. That is how we show our caliber. And that is why you Life want plan. to trade with only me. It, My wares are way quite better. superb. Let me then scrutinize your vendables. Oh, with pleasure. I know I have something to tickle your. I mean, that's for the the car. But I figured that it was only like one dollar, so it was really cheap. Might as well. Hey, what's up, PvP? Is it like Borderlands? I mean, I haven't gotten any like loot yet. But as far as like the progression of this game goes, oh, is this a vehicle combat? Not only is Phoenix great to drive, but it's deadly as well. I want to fire, switch between weapons. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't know if I can take out the whole, like, I like how they just left. Uh, it gives you, like, a lot of auto aim. I'm guessing... But I don't want to touch any of the yellow stuff that they throw out. The aim assist is really nice on this. Yeah, make a little trap. It's going to take something real special to penetrate those energy shields. I'm 
too hot. I don't know if I have enough ammo to actually kill this thing. Energy. Some vehicles have energy shield which are resistant to regular weapons. I pray the Phoenix with the blast. Shields detected. Try alternative weapon. What was the button to swap weapons? Ammunition low. I actually don't think I have the ammo to kill it. I have 190. And I don't have the upgrade. So. Sorry guys, we can't kill it. We'll just go continue getting the next upgrade. But no, I'd say Borderlands has a lot more like RNG drops that can get you really excited. Whereas this game, it's more of like a linear experience like, oh, you get the shotgun. There are upgrades, but it's not the next gen. I would say that this game so far doesn't offer anything new <clears throat> to the FPS genre. There are a few bugs too in the game, but it's like day zero, so it's kind of expected. It's just some outpost right in the middle. No, yo, there's a ramp right there. Should we go through it? I mean, it could probably get us killed, but I don't know. I'm down. Up on a outpost here. That used to be a trade coalition outpost. I was thinking we can launch in. Bennett dens are strongholds filled with enemies. Eliminate all the enemies. Okay. Standby mode initiated. Hey, Lily, I'm eyeballing one sketchy looking place. Yeah, things ain't vibing oh, safe that. no more. Go in prepared, Walker. Uh, I should get rid of that head and turn it first. a lot of HP. You really plan on good? Yeah, I mean, if you're looking for, like, another game to stream, I mean, I don't think this game will will be, like, a top game on Twitch for, like, that long. It probably, it's just a new game, so there'll be a lot of people streaming it day one, just like most games day one. You do have, like, a little dash that's kind of nice. I mean, the reviews, uh, last time I checked on Steam, were at 70%, so... It'll just be something for me to play. Because at the moment, I don't think there's like a really big game that's coming out soon. But we're getting close to that summertime, which means maybe Diablo Immortal soon. Platypi, how you doing? Post apocalyptic vibes. Yeah, I want to know if they're gonna have more than just this one area. Oh, right in front of me. Like, this is pretty much just desert. But I believe there are other biomes that you can see. We got all the goons, so we get some cash. Oh, is that the quest that I needed? I didn't even know that that was a quest. Wasn't that bad? The outpost is cleared out. All the creeps are done crawling. Good to hear. That place was like an infestation. Great work, Ranger. Diablo on mobile? Yeah. Um, Diablo Immortal is like one of the games... That, well, so suppose there was a leaked conversation that got posted. Basically, what it comes down to is the Chinese devs, uh, NetEase, were like, Diablo Mobile is ready to go. Blizzard, what, how come you're not advertising the game? I honestly want to say Blizzard at this point is just like they don't know what to do in terms of advertisement because it's it just got such bad 
um, media press, that they might just release it like, you know how Apex just released the game? So, I'm thinking that could be a possibility, and they're just gonna be like, yo, Diablo Immortal's out, download now, you guys can play it right now. It's smarter than guys were announcing Diablo Immortal, and people will just laugh at it, right? And so, I think that's a smarter business decision as well. But there's supposed to be an arc thing over here, wasn't there? I'm looking for the arc. Uh, yeah, there's an arc chest somewhere in here. I'm gonna zoom in and see if it'll like pinpoint it more if I zoom in. Because we're kind of off. I'm not sure if it's... You know what? I thought we, we marked it. Okay, track location. I think we're right on top of it, so it doesn't matter. Because if you think about how Apex launched... Um, by the way, PvP, have you, have you been playing Apex? I know a lot of people just like dropped the game. Um after just like Twitch numbers, but I think that game still has like a huge chance. I mean, for me, if the game's free, I'm gonna play it regardless. I feel like if Apex advertised itself um, the way it did, people would have just had bad uh, ideas that you'd be like pay to win in some, some way, right? If they're like, new free to play game coming out soon, Versus, like, just use all that money, get a bunch of popular streamers to play the game. Make the game have the illusion, right, that it's like, the next big game. The scrimmed practice, I gotcha. I hate how you take fall damage. <laughs> but, I, I don't see any place to actually keep the arc, unless it's up there. I'll check one more time here. Oh, we missed out on that. That's a lot of money. Uh, there's a bunch of chests over there. Try to land on top of the car so we take no fall damage. Nice. Unless it's like under. Because like the old like Doom Quake games, a lot of these had a bunch of um, secrets, and some of them like you you would you would see like just like um, a wall, and you would just have to like walk through it. I think that's the problem with Apex, um, is they're not announcing any new updates. Like, they, I don't know if you saw, um, but they did mention, they're like, our plan is not to release a bunch of updates for Apex. It's like, no, no, you don't, you don't. I think that was a really bad decision. Like, yeah, you could argue that it's good that they're honest, but at the same time, like, they have so much wasted potential with that game. To just say, we're not looking to update the game uh, super frequently. They could say, look, we're working to pick, uh, patch out the bugs, and then new content will be coming when it's ready, guys. We want to perfect it. I think that would have been a much smarter thing to say, but that's their decision. Okay, I, I could not find that uh, core thing, so we out. I don't want to sit there forever. <laughs> be Resident Sleeper gameplay. Customs and competitive. I think it needs more than that, though. Because if you think about customs and competitive, the player base that plays competitive in most games is so niche and small, right? Compared to the amount of people that will play casually. Because who do you think is buying loot boxes? The people that grind out competitive Overwatch and are like Diamond Plus? Or, or the people that just play the game once in a while, they're like, oh, new event. Okay, cool, I'll drop some money and get some loot boxes. Right? The, the, the skins in that game really need to be revamped. I think the skins, uh, even the gun camos, like the gun camos are like literally impossible to unlock. <laughs> it, uh, with, with, with just playing the game for free. There's a question mark over here. Let's just go to it. See, this is why I like open world games. You just go and... Oh, what, did I just... Done goof? Okay, we good. Oh, 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 almost fell off. I don't know, this is why I like open world games. I just like doing stupid stuff. Okay, it's, it's over here. Oh, look, there's something going on. Let's go explore that. Esports. Well, the thing is, is that Apex is not a bad game, but they definitely gave the illusion that it was the next big game. And it, they did it really well. I've never seen a game take over that fast and then drop that hard. All right, so if anyone wants to read a screenshot, it. 
pause it if you're watching on YouTube. But we're really here to kind of check out the game, and then I'll, I'll maybe do a second playthrough of the game. Like, actually read everything. That's that's what I do with, like, Mass Effect and stuff. If I really like the game, I'll read every single thing. Is there nothing in here? Let's say enter vehicle. What? Oh, you, oh, the bike. There's just a thousand rounds. What? Another 1,800 rounds. Very specific number. Oh, what is this? What the heck is that? supposed to follow it? I lost track of it. It was... Hmm, that looked really weird. I feel like there was more to it than just shooting it and it flies away. That's it? Oh, wait, there's a... Okay, that's probably what this area was. Achievement to find them? Oh, yeah, it could be. I've never been a fan of, like, hunting the achievements in any games. I know there's people that like 100% games. So. And I also know some, some game devs are like, our, our game, if you want to complete everything, it's like 500 hours, or they'll say like 40 hours or something. But, like, it's doing such tedious tasks. Like, go over, go over to this thing and hit a button, which to me, I find it kind of boring. Make your name for something. Yes! Oh, here's what we wanted to do, guys. I didn't know it was just right here. But I gotta find the entrance, so... Lusum, I'm entering the Mutant Bash TV yes. arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. Those things are nastier than you think. But yeah, a Apex fell really hard for me, like, on YouTube. Like, I was I was creating a lot of content for Apex, and, like, videos would just easily get so many views. Like, I, I had one video I uploaded on Caustic, and it got 40k views. And then literally the next video I uploaded was on, was it, uh, Lifeline. It's, like, the same type of video. It's just, like, tips and, like, you know, how to play um, and get more, like, value out of certain things. And then it's just several thousand views. Like the, the, the drop was huge. Yo, Tadza! Thank you what so up, much for the What a J A R E D about to meet Dream Casper in prison. <laughs> oh, bro, Jared. I, I know, like on YouTube right now, I thought about making a video, uh, like talking about like Pro Jared. Because what I don't understand when people are unsubscribing, it's like, did you subscribe to Pro Jared because like you're like, oh, I subscribed to him because I enjoy that he is a faithful man. Or did you enjoy it sub to him because you liked his gameplay content? Like that, the, his gameplay content won't change, right? I mean, maybe he won't be uploading for a while, but like, it just, that doesn't make sense to me. Like same thing with, uh, what, what's that thing that's going on? Like James Charles? I can't jump up there. I really feel like this game needs a double jump. But it's like, did the people that subscribe to James Charles subscribe for like makeup tutorials or did they subscribe because like, they, they thought that he was a good person? I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'm gonna try to land on top of this. There we go, so we don't take any damage. Where is this Mutant Bash TV entrance? Is this it? I think so. Yes. Alright, it only took us like half an hour to find it. What the heck? What is this? What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger, have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. Do tell me. Is it a hunger for the promises of the flesh I present you with? Hmm? 
A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest. Oh, yes, of wines. Mm. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur. The lust to kill. <laughs> you have it. The promise of greatness. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. And now, sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall commence. Kill! <laughs> Kill for Desdemonia! <laughs> Alright, but thanks again, Patsa, for the sub, man. Anyways, going back to what we are talking about, about uh, Diablo Immortal, it's just that there isn't any huge games, I think, coming out this summer. And if they announce, like, Diablo... Well, they don't even need to announce it, they just need to basically say, Hey guys, Diablo Immortal is playable, download it right now! Everyone's like, yeah, you can play it right now. Um, so I think that'll be, like... A potential big game for me, like as far as me enjoying it. Oh, there's a what does that say? A gift shop. That's that gun shop. Gift shop. Uh, mean bash tokens are used for purchasing anything here. Uh, I'm guessing we'll have no currency. But what can you actually buy? So this is a separate currency. A skin for the pistol. I wish they would show you the skin on the thing. What kind of stuff you got? Bash supplies. Cash to the max. Bash to the max. You, is you you coming out on the Switch? Really? Okay. I'll have to uh, have to get that for sure. But I, I want to say that th I don't think that's gonna be like a big game in general. Like it'll be a big game for me, but like just like on Twitch and stuff. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be like a top two, top five game. That's what I'm really interested. Like Diablo Mortal will 100% be a top top five game. What the heck is what the heck is going? Oh my God! Is he not wearing pants? What the what is going on? What the heck is going on? Oh, he's not wearing any pants. <laughs> you know what I really miss with some of the FPS games is where you're able to like turn on the faucet. I know like it doesn't really matter, but back in the day I thought that, that was so cool. Uh, enter the Mutant Bash TV uh, arena and survive the onslaught. Kill as fast and entertaining as possible to earn a higher score. A higher score means more tokens. To challenge yourself, you can use the optional challenge board to select at different challenges. Oh, okay. All right, well, what are these challenges? Uh, looking for a challenge, one with only pistols and wing sticks. Here's a rocket launcher and grenades. Let's go explode all the things. Let's do that one, then we'll do Normie after. And now, mes amis, for our next contender, such grace, <laughs> such flair, so debonair. So we get like score. A new wave of terror. This time it's trees explosive. Fishy and trees. You're on fire, mon Oh, you can lock them with the rockets. Yo, thank you, Chicken Life, for the try hard set. Combo! Ooh, so you get more points. The reload is so slow on this thing, but this is the only weapon we have. Select another challenge, or is there another like, room? So we have 37, 38 tokens. 45? Wait, oh, do you have to collect these? Oh, 
Oh, they're on the ground. What do they look like? What's this? Is that what they look like? They actually look like little giant coins on the floor. Uh, okay, so we have to pick them up. I guess they highlight themselves. Is this game worth so far? I mean, it, again, it, it's nothing really like new in the FPS genre, which is what I always look for in a game. It's just something new, right? Oh, wait, this is the next area. What the heck? This is like a really cool arena thing. Here come the fabulous stunners! Careful! We need to hold three acts from you! Like, I'm not disappointed with my, like, purchase of this game. Oh, the room opens, like, right next to it. Uh, but, see, the thing that I... Wait, can I collect the coins another way? Am I taking damage by just blocking into it? But, like, how am I supposed to collect the coins? It won't let me like even break the uh, the thing. So you get no heals either. So we're we're at forty HP. So I don't know if we'll be able to complete everything. What the heck is that for? Oh, they, they're coming from the ceiling. Well, that thing rotates across the entire map. Oh, I get it. They're monkeys. That's why. They, that's why they come from the ceiling. Okay. And now we got some more HP. That's good. Close by, I should just melee. After you completed one, they would give you full health. But I guess there is a decent amount of health that drops. But that thing doesn't stop. I'm curious if you can shoot it. No. Hold on. What if 
I'm over here. I wonder if any of these things can break so I can actually, like, get um, some type of currency. Oh my gosh. dry yeah that's like i said diablo more i think cod um mobile will be out too oh, wait, wait, oh you get to oh you get to restart it at full hp oh i can definitely do this then i didn't know you get a i didn't know you get another chance that's that's awesome the health pack thing so I just want to make sure I don't destroy the uh, the, the health thing I think it goes away after a while So glad they didn't make us do everything. All right, so yeah, thirteen. I wonder if you get extra points for tea bagging. Feel like the prize is gonna be her cap. Was that? Oh, it's just for the TV. <laughs> you weren't kidding. You really kicked the shit out of those muties. Good job. That kind of quality slaughtering can make you a star. I still gotta get behind the wheel at Chaz Car Derby, though. I know it's a hassle, but hey, Wellspring thanks you for jumping through all these hoops. No skin off my back. As long as you come through on your end, Mayor. You won't regret this. Ah. Oh. The youthful demeanor. You are aroused. 
<laughs> Aroused to kill some more? Go ahead. Alright, let's go ahead and see That's what we can right. actually get. Oh, look! Big Bad Basher is back! I was just watching reruns and wondered when you would come rolling back. I definitely want to get this weapon core oh. mod. Let's spend some of those bash tokens, yeah? By three of them? Oh my gosh. I mean, like, yeah, there's n nothing else I'd buy. I, I was thinking about these, but we don't have enough points anyways. We'd have to do this thing. Because we've got 1,300, which means basically we got to do it twice. Um, pizzazz. So these are just different skins for your weapons. I wonder if there's more weapons in the game than just those ones. Let's just buy all the mods. So let's go to the weapons mod. And let's see what we can actually get. So, um, oh. Oh, do we have to upgrade these? Uh, lunge towards the target. Oh, okay. So, where do I get this? Oh, that's nano trites. Okay, that's not the right thing. So we have these. Okay, spend two ferrite. Okay, so there's the, the smart rocket launcher, the grav dart launcher. The Firestorm Revolver, the Hyper Cannon, and the Charge Pulse Cannon, which I'm not sure if you unlock them in that order, but it did seem like we did unlock um, the Assault Rifle, then Combat Shotgun in that order. So I, I wouldn't mind upgrading the Assault Rifle. Let's go ahead and uh, view the upgrades for it. It just says increased... Uh, upgrade to increase weapon power and access to weapon mods. So magazine capacity and speedy reload. Okay, is what uh, we get from this. Oh, you get to choose one. You don't get both. Oh, okay. Uh, there was one thing that let me reload it instantly when you're swapping in between your guns. So I want to say that I'd rather just increase the mag capacity if that's what it can do. Oh, wait. Do I get to hold the equip? Can I change it any time? No, you can't. All right, so to get 500. The clunky. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the game isn't very smooth, like with its animations either. Like, uh, like visually and also like the hit confirmation, like with the what's it, the wing stick. That was an interesting area though. Like visually, I think the game is fine, but like the visual animations. Yeah, I I'd agree with you. A little clunky here. All right, so we'll go ahead and get to the next area in the next part of our playthrough of Rage 2. But let me know how you guys are feeling about it. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see more, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when we upload the next part. But I'm just going to just get to the next part because it's going to be a lot more interesting than watching me drive from point A to point B when we call in our vehicle. But thanks for watching part two and we out.